Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be watching me from. My name is Lena Jima and this is Travel Abroad with Lena. Yay! If this is your first time here on this channel, you are most highly welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So, in today's program, I'm going to talk about um, how you can send your child for an exchange program in the U.S. This is a program that has been on for years and years and years. So, it's not just a new program. Okay? And I've had the opportunity to meet some of the children that actually came from other countries. That was a few years ago. I had... You know, I had the opportunity to meet with some of those children. So what are we talking about today? I'm talking about the bridge program, the exchange program, the J1 visa program. All right, let's go right into business. This is, this program is called the bridge. It's we, it, the program helps to connect students from uh other countries to come to the u.s to finish their high school okay. now let's look at this page to start to begin you go on google you type in www.bridgeusa or Oh, yeah, bridgeusa.gov. Okay, or go on Google, type in USCIS. The okay. USCIS forward slash bridge program, and it will bring you here. Okay, so I go to program, I go to program. And I go to secondary school. Did you see secondary school? All right, secondary school. Now it says second for secondary school students. Secondary school students travel to the United States to study at an accredited public or private high school and live with an American host family or at an accredited boarding school. Uh, now the requirements listen to the requirements secondary school students must be at least 15 years old but not more than 18 and six months of age as of the program start date okay you have to be at least 15 and you can be over 18 and a half because that is the secondary school age in America, okay? Not, you must not have finished more than 11 years of primary and secondary school, not including kindergarten, okay? Not have previously participated in a secondary school student's academic year or semester exchange program or attended school in the United States. So eh, you must not have lived in the U.S. before. So if the, that means this person must be coming to the U.S. first first straight, all right? Straight. First time. Okay. Extracurricular experiences. Students may take part in school sanctioned and sponsored extracurricular activities, including after school sports programs. So... You are not only going to be school, school, school. You can take part in extracurricular uh, programs like sports, music, all those things. The accommodations. Students live with an American host family or at a U.S. boarding school. Listen, this is for your children. This is for your kids, not for you. Okay, let me get that clear. And when that child is coming, it's not coming with you. That child, that minor child is coming alone. 
it's coming by herself it's coming to experience the american culture okay so students may take part in school activities including after school sport program the school district and the state office in charge of deciding athletic eligibility must approve the exchange students participation student may not work part, part uh, student may not work part-time or full-time jobs however they may accept occasional work like yard work or babysitting exchange students are not allowed to live with relatives in america so you cannot bring your child for this program eh? and then tell your your sister that is in america or your your brother that's um, uh, in america say your child will go and live with that person no no so even if you have relatives here in america that child excuse me that child will be assigned to somebody to a family in america in fact years ago i was i was approached if i could be a host i wasn't ready then but now i think i am interested so i mean i am signing up soon as a host this is acting deputy assistant secretary general okay kevin sabas let's see letter to letter to um the participants when i read this letter it blew me away i'm like whoa, whoa. all right let me make it bigger mm -hmm. okay it says uh you see that united states department of state bureau of educational and cultural affairs washington dc now when you apply this program for your child and your child is taken we'll get into that how to apply for it and all of that your child is taking and all of that this is the letter your child will receive say dear secondary school student congratulations on your participation in the exchange visitor program on behalf of the united states department of on behalf of the u.s department of state i want you to know that your decision to come to the united states is important to us we want your state to be a positive and memorable experience for you there's a reason i'm reading this letter so that you know that this program is authentic i won't bring you trash i won't bring you babas i will bring you i know there's some a lot of this travel to <laughs> this place travel to that place travel to that place visa fee visa <clears throat> is all over the place but be careful everybody that running to uk now a lot of people are regretting it america cannot be compared god bless america land that i love okay as a secondary school student you are part of a u.s department of state cultural exchange program in which you like thousands of other students from around the world we have the opportunity to share your language culture and customs with your american host family and the broader local community your participation in this program fosters a greater understanding between our countries look at this language culture and customs hey you know something that we give your child this visa during interview because you will be interviewed your child will be interviewed you the parent will be interviewed okay yeah, they will do video interview with you you'll be with whatever country you are and interviewer here we interview you okay to to see if your child qualifies and what qualifies the child listen i'll, I'll talk about that i will talk about that in a minute i'll talk about that if your child have these qualities i'm going to talk about boom you are there you are there so language culture and customs they want you to bring your language bring your culture bring your customs and share with american family here that is the purpose that is just it that is the purpose man that is the reason 
Now he said, you have valued guests in the U.S. And we want you to succeed in this program. Your goal should be to learn as much as you can about American customs and culture and to build strong relationships with your host family. So these kids are going to be living with a host family. Don't worry about who they live with. America, we arrange that, okay? When you when you sign up for the program, when everything is done, okay, your child will be assigned to a host family. All right, beautiful day before yes, before you can be a host family, you have gone through background check, you have gone through everything. So if your child have a host family, it's a safe hand. No, no, nothing to worry about. Okay. Now it says, okay build a strong relationship with your host family new classmates new friends you will be living with a host family and attending a new school both of of which may have different rules and ways of life from what you are used to so keeping an open mind will be very important to your success you see so they understand that your child is coming from ghana or is coming from nigeria and is coming from a totally different culture they know that they understand that there's no fear about that and they want their child to come and share that culture with our children here so that that's what they call cultural exchange then the america also share their own culture with them okay all right so he said you and your host family have agreed to follow the program rules that govern the secondary school student exchange program. We hope you have taken the time to review the program rules carefully and that you understand your rights and responsibilities. America don't do things haphazardly. Paper is there, <laughs> rules are there, and it must be followed, okay? Your U.S. sponsor is your first point of contact throughout your stay in the United States. Your sponsor is identified on your form, okay? Certificate of Eligibility for Exchange Visa Program, J1 Status, is also there. If you have any question about your exchange program, if you need assistance of any kind while you are here, or if, if something just does not feel right to you, immediately contact your U.S. sponsor. This is why, why I love America. Here, <laughs> zero tolerance for uh, bullying and you know stuff like that. Okay, you can report it, and you don't need anybody to report. You can report it. Like somebody, I watched a video. Hmm, somebody in UK was talking. Sorry, I'm just biting my lips because. Like I haven't drank enough water today. I'm like dehydrated. So I watched a video. Somebody in UK was talking about how uh, um, her patients, you know, maltreated her. A staff. A I think this this staff is from Nigeria or Ghana, one of the African countries, working in the UK as a caregiver, and the client was like maltreating her big time and she's just quiet <laughs> no i i wrote that such thing will never happen in america you will report it and the moment you report the action is taken so don't be afraid that oh my child don't oh, just my child will go what will happen to the child i know it's good uh naturally that concern yeah be concerned but not not afraid not too scared it is your sponsor's responsibility to help you with any problems. Do you hear that? So the child have any challenge, any problem, the sponsor is there. Help you with problem, help you with needs or concerns you may have. Your US sponsor should have given you an emergency telephone number contact. There's a number, emergency telephone number they will give to your child upon arrival. And they will give your child some you know orientation and we have orientation materials we have everything in that material in our hand and um, the telephone number is available 24 hours a day seven days a week okay 
so if they have any concern they they will call if they have anything they will call so there's no no um no fears no fears at all okay mm -hmm. there are so many organizations that are that are sponsoring this program okay and look at look at their phone number is there so you can go and click on that click 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 and get more information from there and their phone number is there you can call <laughs> that's what they are like about lena you know i could tell you oh hey you know what especially nigerians Ghanaians, africans you know what they like to hear oh bring half a million or bring one million naira and i will help your child blah 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 do this, do this all i do is to go to my computer and fill the phone for them and do but i don't do stuff like that okay <laughs> i don't do stuff like that i'm not here to explore anybody i'm just here to share opportunities with people all right look at how to apply okay hello let's look at how to apply how to apply to the exchange visitor program the exchange visitor program provides countless opportunities for international candidates looking to travel and gain experience in the united states so let's look at step one <clears throat> excuse me step one determine which program is right for you see program requirements and compare charts compare them okay see what and then the link is right there for you all right to click on if you know to check more the program requirements but let's go on with the steps step two contact a designated sponsor directly to take part in one of its sj programs the sponsor will provide the participant with specific program and application requirements so and then also there's a link there to to search for a sponsor okay find a sponsor it's right there now um though here is a fine sponsor that operates in your home country and there's don't go on google and go and be and go and be uh, searching for sponsor that operates in ghana or sponsor that operates in nigeria you will see fake people you see scammers come up follow this link if they are not here they are not there <laughs> if they are not on this link they are not there so follow this link step three sponsors are responsible for selecting participants as well as supporting and monitoring them during their entire program now let me let me go back to this step two again i will advise you if you live outside the united states especially if you live in places like in africa please get your sponsor from the u.s don't get any sponsor from Africa. You all know what I'm talking about. Get your sponsor from the US. Okay. So step four. Sponsors charge participants program fee. That's what they charge. They charge program fee. Fees vary from sponsor to sponsor. Participants are encouraged to obtain a breakdown of all costs and fees from multiple sponsors before committing to a program. You see that? So you can contact different sponsors can contact 10 different sponsors tell them to give you breakdown of their charges then you choose the one that is best that best suits you okay step five if you are accepted into an exchange visa program the program sponsor will issue you a form ds blah 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 now it's not everybody it's not that it's everybody that that will that apply that will be accepted and the same thing, it, it doesn't mean that if you pay all, all that money that you will lose it. No. No. You, if the sponsor will talk with you first, okay? The sponsor will have a talk with you to know what your child has, some advantages, are with, which I will talk about in another video. So just follow me. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to be liking my videos because here I'll bring you opportunities. Tell you to go and exploit it. All right. So I will talk about 
how your chi child can be the best candidate. If I, I can do a, if you are interested in this program, I can do a pre-interview with you, with your child before you go, you know, commit yourself. If I am able to do that, I will tell you whether your child will be selected or not because I know what they are looking for. Okay. Yeah. I've lived it long enough here to know what we are looking for. All right. Step six, pay the SEVIS students and exchange visa information system fee at you see again there's a link there so don't let anybody tell you ah bring bring the money unless somebody you know somebody who is your person maybe you are not able to do do this payment by yourself maybe your sister your brother who lives here and say bring them give me the money let me help you pay then they can help you pay the money but that is if some parents are are not too good about uh, online payment and not, and then some countries too are still behind. So yes, but other than that, a stranger coming and telling you, give me money, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. I know what I'm talking about. Don't do it. All right. So you may want to print out your proof of payments for your own record. Step seven, go to the U.S. Department of State's website. Bam 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 dum 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 US Department of State website fill out online non-immigrant visa application form DS160 and to pay the pay the visa application. Of course, we know that visa application pay it and then uh step eight. After you pay the visa application, you schedule interview date at the embassy. Now don't forget this child is the one going, not not you mommy not you daddy okay it is the child so this kind of interview uh is very easy it's very easy for your child to get the visa provided the documents sent to her or sent to him from us from the sponsors are authentic period they will get the visa okay they barely hardly ever deny children like that on the day of your interview step nine bring the following documents okay you bring the original form that the sponsor gave you that you fill you bring your ds160 form the embassy form confirmation page then your passport your photo and visa application fee receipt then they say consult the embassy to know if there's any additional thing you need to go there with then step 10 the interviewing officer will inform you at the end of your interview whether you are approved or you are denied like i said if you are going as a minor if if it's your child remember the child should be between 15 and 18 and a half years old if the child is within that age and has all the necessary documents complete have gone through all the requirement have signed all the papers read all the rules and regulations i bet you that child will get this visa so good luck to all of you all right so again to just sum it up is today i'm talking about exchange program for secondary school children so if your child if you wish that for your child to come here and finish his or her secondary school education in the U.S., maybe this is one way for you to go. You can give your child this gift today. <laughs>